What is up, everybody? It's time for well, excuse me. It's time for some Ishkana Night Weavers right here. Hope you're ready. We're gonna play first. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm excited, man. It's always exciting when a new set gets released and uh, we get into some new commander action. It's always fun. And it, we've got a legendary spider. Uh, well, let's check out our opening hand and then we'll jump into it. So I'm gonna mulligan. We've only got one land. Um, yeah, I like this. Windswept teeth, marsh flats. Yeah, yeah, we can keep. We've got the uh, Patriarch's Bidding. Yeah, we're going to keep. Let's see what our Scry is, and we'll kind of jump into what this deck is. Let's see, our opponent's playing Child of Alara. Uh, whenever it dies, destroy all non-land permanents. They cannot be regenerated. But yeah, this is... Well... Yeah, I'll go and put that on top. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is Spider-Man. Like, our win condition is, like, literally our commanders. Get the target opponent and lose one life for each spider you control. We also have stuff like uh, Assault Formation in there. So we can, uh, you know, with Assault Formation, it whenever, let's say we have uh, Stinger Fling Spider in our hand. When he attacks, he's a 2-5. His combat damage is assigned by his toughness instead of his uh, attack. So uh, that's one way we can close it out that way. We have uh, stuff like Genesis over here where you can put 1-2... Uh, Green spider tokens on the battlefield. Yeah, man, this is. Uh, I'm excited. So let's crack this marsh flats right now. Let's grab a uh, grab an overgrown tomb. Put that into play. Tapped. You too, man. I like it when opponents say, "Hey, good luck, man." Yeah, that way you know there's a human on the other side. And right now we may um, ooh, cover of darkness. I like that. Um, probably going to. Yeah, we're going to get down Golgari Rot Farm and then bounce the Overgrown Tomb back to our hand. And then next turn, we can get down Cover of Darkness off the Rot Farm, get down Overgrown Tomb, Windswept Teeth, and start getting into uh, some commander action. So with Cover of Darkness, we can give all of our spiders fear. <laughs> I run Cover of Darkness in my uh, Gitrog deck. It's fun, like, playing Cover of Darkness and then naming some, like, really random... Uh, Obscure tribe like spider. So right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get down cover of darkness. Naming spider. <laughs> I like that man. I'm so glad they made a legendary spider. I'll, oh yeah, I'll cover what our commander is here in a second. Let's put down uh, Golgari Gilgate because that comes to play tap. Pass the turn. So with Ishkana, uh, we have Delirium. Whenever it's a battlefield, if there are four more card types in your graveyard, put three one two spider tokens on the battlefield. And then a second ability is target opponent loses one life for each spider you control. So we're kind of going to try and get to this point where we can get a bunch of spiders out and hopefully grind it out with that. that that's exactly how I want to win the game. It seems like a lot of fun, make him lose a bunch of life. We don't really, we're a little far away from Delirium, so um, we're still a couple card taps away. But we have stuff, we have stuff like Mulch, uh, Grizzly Salvage. We have different ways to get stuff into the graveyard. Um, we just uh, haven't drawn into any of it right now. Okay. <laughs> it's, it, it was so fun picking out all these spiders, too. Um, let's go... We'll go get down Windswept Heath. And then, do we have anything... Yeah, we, we can get down the uh, Prenumber Spider. We'll go and crack the Heath, grab the uh, Bayou. I love, like, and also, like, Golgari. Golgari's where it's at for me. Like, I love playing Golgari. That was the first... Like, I got into Return to uh, Return to Ravnica. And uh, let's, uh, let's get to our opponent's turn, then I'll start talking. <laughs> Sometimes I mess stuff up if I just start getting all chatty Cathy. Um, so I got in during Return to Ravnica. Like, I, I bought Magic cards before that, but long story short, short I actually didn't learn until Return to Ravnica. And so, like, I just, like, fell in love with the Golgari clan. And so ever since then, anytime I play a Golgari commander, like I'm, I feel at home, man. So we're Penumbra Spider. Uh, whenever it dies, it basically replaces itself. So we get a black spider that gets on there. So, but yeah, you can almost like like there's a couple different ways you can go with these kind of. Um, you can kind of go for a fog route. I'm just kind of going for like spider good stuff, man. We've got a couple value cards in here. Uh, get into Cavern of Souls. Might, I doubt he's running pack counter in there, but we'll go and get down Cavern of Souls naming Spider. And the, hey, let's get Ishkana welcome. It feels so good to uh, cast a new commander. And then let's choose Colorless. Alright. Now, I, we could have waited for Delirium, but we're kind of a little far away from Delirium right now, so we're just going to get down the commander down and try and grind it out with uh, his second ability. 
his or her, each kind of, I would assume that's a female, so we're going to say her ability. I, I like that. I like thinking of her as this big black widow, ready to take down the world. Now with the uh, Stinger Fling Spider, <laughs> whenever it enters the battlefield, we may destroy target creature with flying. That's why I like when I was building this deck, looking up all the different spiders, there's a very limited amount of spiders. So kind of like if you look at any Ishkana list, like that's kind of, that's about the cream of the crop for the spiders. There's not a whole lot out there. But uh, they all have like really unique abilities. Like uh, this, this spider replaces itself. This one can destroy target creature with flying. So they just all have these like pretty cool uh, abilities. And he's tapped out, so we may go ahead and come in hot. Come in hot with the team. Let's go. Let's get down Jun Panorama. Oh, and plus they have fear, duh. So let's, we're going to swing in right now. We're not above uh, some combat damage. So we're coming in for 5 right now, dropping down to 33. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, next turn, when we make our land drop, we'll be able to activate uh, Ishkana. So I'm going to go ahead and um, so our Genesis only triggers with the number of T creatures attacking us, so we can't really get a benefit off that. But I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, I don't think he's going to get any flying down. So let's go and get down Stinger Fling. Then we're going to choose a green, give it an uncounterable. It feels, I don't know, it just feels like I'm so, like, little kid magic happy right now, playing with a deck full of spiders. It's, uh, I'm glad, like, when Mark Rosewater tweeted, like, hey, it's something we've been wanting to do for a long time, and they made reference to this, a legendary spider, everybody's like, eh, it's kind of underwhelming, like, I don't know, man, like, I think it's cool. I like it, and it's a lot of fun. It's just one of those moments where, like, yeah, you finally get a legendary. So when it's like a defining moment in magic. You finally get your legendary spider where you can do commander with it. So he has Sword of Feast of Famine on there. Whenever it deals damage to a player, that player discards a card, and you untap all lands you control. Okay. So you're going to deal two to us, go to 38. I mean, we go down to 36. We're going to chunk. We're a little far away from Patriarch's bidding, so I'm going to chunk that in the graveyard. And then, let's see. As far as next turn goes, we're going to get this down. We can drain him for three. But uh, if he gets a few more creatures out, this, uh, this Genesis right here will be pretty nice. We can get a bunch of spider tokens out there. The Arachnogenesis. Lotus Cobra. Like, I love playing with Lotus Cobra. I play some modern in, like, when I'm not doing, like, recording Commander. And, uh, I don't know. It's just... Lotus Cobra is one of those cards that, uh, it's just, it's such a good card, but I feel like it doesn't see that much play. You know, it, it sees plays in the formats, but, um, I don't know, it's a good card. It's just one of those solid magic cards. You're like, yeah, thumbs up, man. You're doing good, Lotus Cobra. So it gets down Sarkhan the Mad, so reveal the top uh, card of your library, put it in your hand, deals damage equal to itself to that converted mana cost, uh, target creature controller sacrifices it, and then puts a 5-5 dragon onto the battlefield. Each dragon creature you control deals damage equals to power to star player. Okay. Ooh, we get into Demonic Tutor. Hmm. What do we want to do? I have my deck list in front of me. <sighs> now we can get into some Assault Formation. And so then we'd be swinging in for 5, 10. Swinging in for 14. We could take out his Sarkhan. Yeah, I think I may go for that. Yeah, I like that. Let's go for that. We can have some fun. We're going to tap. For, yeah, t make sure we tap for black. That way, since he's tapped out, we can take his uh, his commander out and then still swing in. So let's go ahead and where is it? Where's the salt formation? There it is. Let's get a salt formation down. Tap the Golgari Rot Farm. And then we're going to go ahead and shock in the Overgrown Tomb. That way, if he swings in, we'll at least get two spiders and amplify the uh, the draining effects. We're going to pay two life. All right, we're coming in hot. 
<laughs> yeah, assault formation makes all of it. We assign our damage equal to our toughness rather than power. So, uh, yeah, I like some uh, five fives. So we're, let's send. He has one blocker. So we need to send at least. Coming in at Sarkan, coming in at Sarkan, and then we come in hot. Yep, there we go. Oh, and then plus he, yeah, I, I'm sorry, guys. We have fear out there. I, I forget fears out there. <laughs> sorry about that. This is literally the first time I'm playing the deck, so I, uh, but I know about Cover of Darkness. It's just one of those things where I just forgot about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so uh, Arachnogenesis, we can get some of that action going. I'll take two two spiders because then we can activate Ishkana and that'll be five that we can drain from him. And then we'll be coming in for fourteen. Okay, so he's coming in right now. And we can in response not in response, but uh So we can just basically blank his sword of the feast and famine and get three spiders. So let's go to the block step. That way he clears out his blue mana. Unless he has something to do with it. And then we're going to cast Genesis. I like it. This is fun, man. I'm enjoying this because this is a lot of fun. Okay, so he deals no damage. He doesn't get to untap his lands. And now he's just left with a Lotus Cobra and a Vivid Grove. I don't know if he's made the land drop for this turn. I don't think he has. Okay. So now let's re-rack. Now our creatures are up here this time. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> you know, with my if you're new to my channel, sometimes I uh, I like to give you good commentary. I like to talk to you like we're just sitting here chilling, playing magic. So sometimes I just miss little things here and there. But uh, I try to make up for it. So if we swing in right now, we're looking at 4, 9. We're looking at 10, 14, 16. 16 coming across, and we can activate for 4. So we're going to have 29 minus 16, and we can drain them for 4, put them down to 9. Yeah, we can do that. You know, if we lose the spider, we can activate him. Yeah, we're going to go and do that. Let's do that. Let's swing in right now. Oh, and plus he has fear. He can't block our spider. Yeah, so we're going to swing in. I, I don't know why. It's so hard for me to remember that. <laughs> All right, we're coming in hot with every, coming in hot with the team. So we're looking at 16 coming across because uh, because of assault formation. Oh, we can activate now. Do we want? To, I, I forgot about that. Now we can. It's gonna be plus one plus one. So it's gonna be 16 plus four. That's 20. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we activate it two times. That'll put him at 20. Yeah, let's go and do that. And then we'll do it one more time. Then next turn, if he has a board wipe, he's got it. And then, then we can just activate uh, Ishkana in response. Drops him down to 5. We'll still have to swing in. Well, actually, we can get down Birds of Paradise. And then with Birds of Paradise, we'll be able to swing in for 1. And, and then we can activate... Uh, Activate Ishkana. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is the the first time I've played with the deck. It's it's pretty fun. I, I may tweak it a little bit after this, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm ready to welcome Ishkana into my rotation of commander videos. This, I'm already having fun with this. I love playing. Oh, I don't know if I ever finished me talking about Golgari, but yeah, I, I love playing any Golgari deck. Green black. I'm, in, I'm if I'm playing green black, I'm at home. Like if I go to a pre-release or something like that, I'm always looking to make a green black deck. Um. My second favorite color shard is Sultai, and so, uh, yeah, basically any pre-release, it's always Sultai or Golgari. That's the first deck I'm looking to make. Uh, it's just, I feel at home in those colors, and I, I love this. This is this has been a lot of fun, especially with the salt formation. It's pretty good right there. 
Sun Titan. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you may return target part of it, convert it to cost mana three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. So, what's he bringing back? Because it's a land? Because none of his creatures have reach. Then we can swing in with Birds of Paradise and activate... Yeah, because fear is black creatures and artifact creatures, which he has none. He has neither of those. He has green, white, and uh, colorless. But he's doing something. Let's see what he's getting into. Okay, so he's swinging in for three. He can untap his lands. Now... Whenever it deals combat damage to a player. So we may, yeah, we can block, not let it deal damage with the uh, the Birds of Paradise. Because I don't want him to untap his lands. He's got four cards in hand. And if we, we I probably could have closed the game out earlier if I had, hadn't swung both of his Planeswalkers. But look, we're going to go and block Birds of, oh, that's right, he has protection from, oh, black and green. Okay, duh. Okay, so we're going to discard, no cards, and he gets to untap his lands. Now, unless he has some type of board wipe, let's see what he's getting into. But yeah, I think earlier when I swung both at the uh, the Planeswalkers, because I just forgot they had fear. I think that's that's <laughs> that's what happened. And we're in our combat step right now. This is why it's so crazy looking right now so I, I don't I think he means to be in our main phase <laughs> and maybe he'll untap his lands and figure that out <laughs> I've done that too man sometimes I get my draw step and I'm just thinking and I just start tapping a bunch of lands <laughs> and I'm like alright there we go now we're in our main phase buddy do what you need to do <laughs> hopefully it's not a board wipe that would uh, that would be a bummer So it looks like he's getting his commander down. Okay, yes. Commander's coming in hot. Now, does he have a way to destroy it? And that only applies to... Okay, he might grab the assault formation. Let's see what he grabs. Cover of darkness. Okay. Now, I think we have it now. If we swing it, he doesn't have anybody with reach. That's correct, yeah. So we can swing in with uh, Birds of Paradise. Yeah, let me, let me. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have enough to activate Ishkana. So he's going to lose one, two, three, four. He'll go down. Yeah, we can just activate it right now and win the game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, this feels good, man. I, like tr truly, when I went to make this video, I was like, I want to win with Ishkana. I want to win with his act with her activated ability. We've got one, two, three, four. That should be exactly enough. <laughs> All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.